welcome dear students in this video i have come up with a very very important question which is often asked in the exams and the question is why are haloalkenes less reactive than haloalkanes that means we are going to discuss about difference in the reactivity of cx bond in haloalkanes and haloalenes so through this question you must have understood that haloalenes are less reactive than haloalkanes before we discuss about why haloalenes are less reactive than haloalkanes i would like to discuss one important point dear students already we know that haloalkanes are reactive class of compound and they give variety of the reactions and about their reactivity i have already discussed in my previous video related to the chemical property chemical reactivity of haloalkane so you can watch the video to understand the concept so now in this video we are going to compare the reactivity of haloalkene and haloalkanes it is found that haloalkenes are less reactive than haloalkanes now question comes why why haloalkenes are less reactive than haloalkanes so dear students there are three factors we can find that they are responsible for this observation what are those factors number 1 is the resonance stabilization number 2 actually i would like to make it number 2 number 2 is hybridization state of carbon of cx bond and then for me the third point will be polarity of cx bond okay so first i will discuss about resonance stabilization this factor then secondly i will teach you about the hybridization state of carbon of cx bond and then at last i will discuss the third factor that is polarity of cx bond so let us discuss the first factor that is resonance stabilization let us discuss now see we all know that chlorobenzene i am taking example of haloalkene as chlorobenzene okay uh, it becomes easy for me to explain the fact so chlorobenzene is aromatic compound which undergoes resonance and its resonating structures can be written as so these are the resonating structures of chlorobenzene so watch the resonating structures carefully and the delocalization of electrons take place we know that it is the resonance hybrid two calculase structure are there which undergo continuously resonance through these resonating structures i hope it is clear to all of you and uh, so i can say that chlorobenzene can be represented as the hybrid of as a resonance hybrid of the following canonical forms or resonating structures so if you see from these structures it is clear that c cl bond c cl bond if i number it this is structure number 1 it's 2 it's 3 it's 4 and it's 5 so if you see structure third fourth and fifth C C L bond acquires double bond character. All right, so this double bond character it shortens the bond length between C C L bond. Since the bond length is shortened, as a result, the bond becomes strong. So due to the resonance stabilization, due to the resonance in the chlorobenzene. C C L bond becomes a strong and a stable bond. So this becomes a, a very very important factor for the less reactivity of chlorobenzene. Since the bond becomes stable, so this cannot be cleaved as easily as in case of haloalkanes. Because in haloalkanes, if I talk about, like I take example of C H three C L, I'll elaborate and write. CH three Cl. Here there is no such scope of development of double bond character. All right. So here the strength of this bond is not as strong as the strength of CCl bond in these aromatic halogen derivatives or haloalkenes. I hope the first factor is clear. Now let us see the second factor. what was the second factor second factor is the hybridization state of c of cx bond so we know it very well if i draw the structure 
we know it very well that in aromatic hydrocarbons all right aromatic hydrocarbons these carbons are sp2 hybridized whereas in aliphatic you can see here c cl these aliphatic means in hello alkenes the chlorine is bonded with sp3 hybridized carbon and dear students we know it very well that sp2 hybridized means the carbon which is sp2 hybridized is more electronegative all right than carbon which is sp3 hybridized so that means this carbon is more electronegative than this carbon since its electronegativity is most so definitely the polarity of this bond will be less i hope it is clear this fact is i hope understood and here in this carbon since its electronegativity is less so polarity of c cl bond or i can say cx bond in case of any hello alkene you can take cx bond will be greater than particular hello arene and one more thing is there sp2 hybridized carbon which is more electronegative will hold this shared pair between cx more firmly more strongly whereas in hello alkenes this sp3 hybridized carbon though it is less because of its least electronegative less electronegativity than sp2 hybridized carbon it will not hold the shared pair of electron of cx bond as firmly as in case of hello arene i hope it is clear so like this the second factor also contributes the second factor the hybridization state of carbon also contributes to the lesser stability of hello arene oh, sorry lesser reactivity of hello arenes and now i will talk about the third third factor polarity if you have heard me carefully while explaining about the second factor i spoke about the polarity see in hello arenes the carbon is sp2 hybridized which is more electronegative than sp3 carbons in hello alkene definitely the one which is less electronegative all right the bond of that carbon with x will be more polar and this carbon since it is more electronegative that means the bond between cx will be less polar so like this dear students there are three factors which together are responsible or which together can be used to explain that why are hello arenes less reactive than hello alkenes